Hello, welcome to another edition of Flexing Fitness All-Stars. Your coach and instructor, Lex Sales. I'm here to show you some quick and easy workouts you can do at the comfort of your own home. Today, I'm gonna show you some of the benefits of having resistant bands. And so resistant bands, as you can see right here, uh, they're very beneficial because uh, they're cheap and expensive. You can actually order some on Amazon. Now, I'm not affiliated with any company or any links. I uh, bought these actually off of Groupon. Uh, they can range in as low as 20 bucks, go as high as 60 to 80 bucks with different range of resistance. Uh, the ones I have in particular, they're going to range here, like you see, 10 pounds. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, and 50 pounds. And so some of these workouts, again, they're very beneficial because you're getting the same resistance and muscle stimulation you would in a gym but out, without having to hauling uh, dumbbells around. Uh, again, if you're a busy person, uh, you don't have much time to get to the gym, you can take these resistant bands with you. They're very portable, very easy to pack in your luggage. Uh, and again, it's something that you can't get to the gym. Hey, you can do a quick workout session at the uh, hotel. Or you can do a quick workout session uh, on the beach or wherever it may be. They're very portable. And again, they're very inexpensive, uh, but it's something they can still do a full body workout. And so today I'm going to show you a few of the workouts you can do in the comfort of your home. Again, uh, these are very beneficial. So check it out. So today, the first exercise I'm going to do is some bicep curls. I'm actually attaching two different ones that have the 40 and the 50 pound resistant band uh, to give me a little bit more resistance uh, since I'm kind of strong. And so uh, I'm going to show you some of those. So again, with these workouts, each one I'm going to show you, you want to do at least 10 to 12 reps, about three sets of each one. OK, and so we're going to go through it once so we can get a good idea of some of the workouts you can do at the comfort of your own home. All right. So we're going to step back. and We're going to do some resistant band. We'll get this adjusted so you can see my feet. And we're going to do some bicep curls. All right. So you're going to have these about a little bit, about shoulders width apart, your chest up. And again, you want to have your palms out and you want to curl all the way up. To get a good lock in those biceps, get those elbows right to your side. Again, two. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. Turn to the side. Lift up the sleeve so you can see actually the bicep being activated. All right, show with the part. That's two. That's three. There you go. Chest up. It's four. It's five. Six. Good job. You feel the burn. Seven. Eight. Nine, I'm we'll just go to 10 reps and 10. Again, you want to perform that at least two more sets, 12 to 10 reps. All right, so that was the bicep curl. The next one is going to be pull parts. This is going to help with your shoulders, your deltoids, uh, and it's also going to work with your chest. So you're going to take these uh, resistant bands and step back so you can see, get them about even with your arms length. And again, if you keep your arms straight, you're pulling all the way apart, all the way apart, and then bringing them back together again, just like so. That's one. Again, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, six. Good job. That's a good one right here. Seven. You can do it. It's eight, it's nine. And 10. Good job. You should be able to feel the burn in your shoulders. Also, your deltoids. You're going to feel that good burn right there. That's a good workout right there. So the next one we're going to do, it's going to be some uh, shoulder shrugs. So again, stepping back so you can see my feet. Again, you're just coming straight up and down with your shoulders to the side. You're going to come all the way up and come all the way down. It's one. And again, if you don't have enough res resistance, grab a little bit lower, just like so. Come up. Two, turn to the side so you can see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, and ten. Again, not too much, not too much. Again, just keeping those arms up. And that shoulder blade all the way up, basically trying to get the shoulders to the bottom of your earlobe. Uh, the next one we're going to do is a lateral raise. What I do with this one, place the resistant band down. Now, depending on what your foot is, it's going to be more or less resistant. So uh, I'm going to put my foot a little bit closer to the, uh, the grip right here, the handle. It's going to be a lot more resistance. And as you can see, I'm going to turn to the side. You'll be able to see. And what you want to do is stand and bring your arm all the way out to the left. 
and you'll be able to see that. So let me scoot over just a little bit so you can see me in the camera. Come up, I'm gonna do a lateral raise, come all the way out to the side. As you can see, that resistance, you can feel that. I can feel the tint. Come up, all the way out. It's one, it's two, it's three, it's four, it's five, good job. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, good job. So we're going to switch sides. Again, we've got to show love to the opposite side or your right side. Again, you don't want to have one side of your body stronger than the other. You want to even it out. So I'm going to go with the left arm. Go ahead, shoulders up, core tight, and go. It's one. Excuse me. Two. Three. And again, depending on what your foot is, that's the resistance you're gonna get. It's four. It's five. Six. Seven. It's eight. It's nine. 10, good job. So the next one we're gonna do is a squat to overhead press. Again, this is a full body workout. It's gonna stimulate multiple muscle groups in your lower and upper body. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see. Again, you wanna have a hip come back and you wanna sit your glutes back like you're about to sit down in the chair. Uh, we're gonna turn, turn your palms in just like so. You have your palms facing out and then have them to the side. Again, it's gonna squat down. You're gonna press up just like so, one. Two, just like so. Three, four, five. I'm gonna turn forward so you can see. Go more. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, all right. That should be getting the blood pumping. You should feel that right now. Next thing we're going to do is call an X row. Again, this is going to get the shoulder blades back. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to turn to the side first. You can see, I'm going to step in by shoulders width apart with your stance. Let's go back so you can see me. We're going to cross over. Again, I'm going to turn the front so you can see. Cross over the resistance bands, just like so. I'm going to grab a little bit lower so I get more resistance. And again, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. You're gonna hinge those hips back. And again, what you're gonna do is drop those elbows back, get those shoulder blades to meet the middle, just like so. So hinge your hips back. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Test up, nine and 10. Good job, good job, good job. We're getting a good full upper body workout. Next what we're gonna do is a reverse lunge with a bicep curl, all right? So this is gonna lock in individually on your quads on each leg and also work on the biceps as well. So I'm gonna show you forward and I'm gonna turn to the side. <clears throat> I'm gonna step with one foot forward. So again, I'm using my left foot, my left leg and I'm gonna step back with my right foot and then I'm gonna curl up, all right? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good job. So we're gonna turn to the side. I'm actually gonna put my right foot forward so you can get the side view. All right, so we've got the right foot under the resistant bands and we're gonna step back to my left leg. All right, and curl up, here we go. One, two, three, four. Keep your chest up, core tight, five, six, Seven, eight, 
nine, last one, last one, 10. Good job, good job. So we're working on your legs, you got your arms, feeling good. Next one I'm gonna show you is a oblique crunch. That's gonna help out with the obliques and the sides of your abdominal wall. And so what you wanna do, step in, shows with the part, have your arms to the side, again, palms facing in. And what we're gonna do is gonna lean back to the left and to the right, as you'll see, and you'll get a crunch right here on the obliques. So we're gonna come all the way over, lean, all the way to the left, come back to the center. Right, that's one. Again, if that's too easy for you, grab a little bit lower, get more resistance, all right? Back, so each side, back to the center, that's gonna count as one, that is two. Grab a little bit lower, give me more resistance. Just like so. It's three. It's four. It's five. Six. Seven. It's eight. Nine. It's 10. After you do that, you should feel a good, good little burn right here on the side of the obliques to help with the abdominal wall. So that's another good one uh, that you can do for yourself as well. The next we're gonna do, I'm gonna put this around. We're gonna do some cross body punches with resistant bands. So this is a good one too, as far as getting a good workout, but also getting a total body workout. So we're gonna do some cross body punches, also with some, uh, some torso twists, all right? So what we're gonna do, Matter of fact, I'm gonna get this a little bit lower, get a little bit more resistance, because I got two bands again, a 40 and a 50. What we're gonna do is get in a stance just like so, cross body, cross body, knee crunch, knee crunch, all right? So this is what it's gonna look like again, nice and slow. Again, I'm not grabbing the handle, so I have more resistance. Gonna come down, squat down, hinge your hips to the side. I'm gonna cross body punch, cross body punch. Uh, uh, bring that knee up, turn that torso, okay? We're gonna do that 10 times. I'm gonna do it forward, then I'm gonna do it uh, sideways so you can see. Here we go. In three, two, one, cross body, cross body. Bring your knee up, bring your knee up, down. Cross body, cross body, knee up, knee up, down. Cross body, cross body, knee up, knee up, down. Cross body, cross body, knee up, knee up, down. Cross body, cross body, knee up, knee up, down. One more. Cross body, cross body, knee up. Knee up, down, return to the side, as you can see. Cross body, cross body, knee up, knee up, down. Cross body, cross body, knee up, knee up, down. There you go. Knee up, down, almost there. Cross body, cross body, knee up, knee up, down. Cross body, cross body, knee up, knee up, down. Here we go. Cross body, cross body, knee up, knee up, down. One more time. Cross body, cross body, knee up, Knee up, down. All right. So that one should be a good one. Get that heart rate up. Get your blood pumping. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Again, cardio, but it's also helpful with the muscle regulation. All right. So the last one I have for you, which was many more exercises you can do, but we're going to do a single arm overhead raise. So what I'm going to do, put the uh, resistant band down on the floor so you can see. Again, depending on how much resistance you want, this depending on your foot placement on the band. All right, so mine's about, about halfway. What we're gonna do is take this arm, single arm raise. You can put your arm to the side or just whatever is comfortable for you. Keep your back straight, your core tight. You're gonna extend all the way up, all the way down, working on that shoulder. All right, it's two, it's three, it's four, it's five, six, Seven, it's eight, one more, excuse me, nine, one more after this, 10. All right, so that was the right side. I got to show up to the left side. Flip that over. Again, depending on your foot position on the resistant band, it's going to be either harder or it's going to be easier, all right? Here we go. Left side, arm to the side. Here we go. Keep the arm straight. One. Again, you want to imagine you have a straight line going straight up and down. Up. It's two, fully extended. It's three, it's four, get closer, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. All right. So it was a majority upper body workout, but to get a little bit of everything, again, there's a lot more workouts that uh, you can do with resistance bands. So in my next video, I'll show you some more combinations. As you can see, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. So it does get your heart rate up. It does build muscle and it's very convenient. And so uh, definitely for everybody that's out there, whether you're advanced or beginning, I definitely do suggest getting some resistance bands. They are inexpensive and there's some that's gonna be beneficial and they're portable where you can take with you anywhere. Uh, again, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, please share. I'm doing a lot of different home workouts that you can do to benefit you and your family. And again, just to get going, start anywhere, it doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you begin to go and start. And remember, you can do anything you set your mind to. I'm here to help you with that way. So again, thank you for joining me for Flex and Fitness All-Stars. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Peace.